Now, thank you, Johnny of the Chelsea Cheese Cutters. Uh, about uh, four years ago, I had a um, a life, a couple of life-changing experiences, and not that my life needed to be changed that much. So really, uh, it just changed. A bit. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. Uh, I got a job at the Eganville re Arena driving the Zamboni, but actually it's not a Zamboni, it's a, um, an Olympia, that's right Justin, yeah, your, da your dad drives it, you guys, an Olympia, but we'll call it the Zamboni anyways, because that's the word everybody recognizes. I, I discovered that all the men I know want to drive the Zamboni, and 75% of the women I've run into want to drive the Zamboni. Driving a Zamboni is a pretty cool thing, and I got to do it for a winter. And I drove the Zamboni in the Eganville Arena, where I played my minor hockey. Uh, as people remind me, my grandfather, Charlie Lett, was the guy who coordinated the group that built the arena back in the early 1900s. So the place is, is quite special to me. And to drive that Zamboni around and get to look around and have all the memories come back, and um, just playing hockey there over the years and the things that have happened, uh, it was pretty cool. Something else happened to me that same winter. And that was uh, Robin and Jack approached me to play for the Valley Heavy Pucks. And the Valley Heavy Pucks are a group of musicians and poets and writers. We go to the Summit of the Arts Hockey Tournament every winter, or for the past two winters we've gone there. And uh, our record after eight games is one tie and seven losses. Uh, we do have a good tie. <laughs> And I told them, I think I told them at the time, yeah, guys, I'll play for you, but I want to be able to re recite some poetry. And I have a Zamboni poem. And they said, oh, you have a Zamboni poem, Chris? Where is it? I said, well, it's in my head. I hadn't written it yet, but I wrote it, and I got to pre present my, uh, my Zamboni poem at the Elma Combo uh, to some accompaniment from my heavy pucks friends. And, and they did something really cool, and we're, I'm hoping people get on board with it. Actually, you have no choice. You're going to get on board with it. The chorus... The chorus... Well, the chorus goes... Water off... Here, I better read it. Water off, blade up, water on, blade down. And what that represents is when I got on the Zamboni, I thought all I had to do was turn on the... Uh, the ignition and just drive it around in circles. What I didn't realize, and Joe, Joe Gotta showed me how, is that when you get to the corner, you have to turn the water off because you're going over a place that's already been watered and scraped. You turn the water off, you have to bring the blade up. And once you're back onto the, onto the cut up ice, you have to turn the water back on and you have to bring the blade down. Water off. Blade up. Blade up. Water on, blade down. See, I wrote this. See, I should remember this. How long did you drive that Zamboni? One winter, Bob, and then I would think I was fired. Oh, well, I, I need some shitty ice. How long to fire you? Yeah. One year. Water off, blade up. Water on, blade down. So the chorus goes, and you guys are going to help me with this. When I put my hand up like this and start snapping my fingers, I want everybody to put both their hands up and start snapping their fingers to the chorus. So we're going to have a little practice. Hands up. Snap your fingers. So that's the water off, blade up, water on, blade down. So while you're snapping your fingers, you're going to say, water, water off, off, blade up, water on, blade down. And if you don't say it in that order, it It'll matter. still sound pretty cool. You can say blade <laughs> off, water down, or whatever you want, but I'm going to be, to, to be saying that. So, okay, one practice, one practice on the course, and you know what's cool is you're going to get to do this four times. Oh, cool. So you ready? I put my hand up. Water off, blade up, water on, blade down. Water off, blade up. We're going to try that one more time. I want to hear some hard finger snapping. Water off, blade up. Water on, blade down. Annie, that was excellent voice, but your hands are on the table. Oh, I can't do two things at once. I really can. And I'm expecting people to cooperate with me, and I, I call you out like that. Yeah. Yeah, really. Sorry. That's it. My friend Jamie here, uh, I showed him my poem, and he wrote some music for it. 
and I appreciate that. And uh, we're going to do the poem, and Jamie's going to play his music. I'm just kidding. Go ahead, take it. <laughs> I'm the floor. Yeah, we haven't practiced so many times that I know it's solid it. screening. Right yeah, there it is. Oh, the yeah. background noise in there. Make it sound like there's all kinds of people. So what do you do when I go like this? Water on, oh, fan it up. Water on, on blaze down. Oh my hey there, Brady. <laughs> hey, happy birthday. Those are like, those are, those are like pregnant women. Like, perfect <laughs> Chris, does this make us all qualify for the Oh my god, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I think my third pregnancy, I ate sauerkraut. Really. Okay. And my baby, well, she's just three now, loves pickles and sauerkraut. She loves pickles. On a strict diet. Okay. And as I drove that Zamboni, I drive around and all these memories came back. <laughs> He's going to run out of tea. <laughs> <laughs> I call my poem Ovally Connecting Dreams. Water on, lay down. Awesome. <laughs> Christmas morning excitement. Rip wide open boxes exposing musty smells. Shin pads, elbow pads, hockey gloves, shoulder pads. Scratchy maple leaf shirts. Itchy chemise lay heavy tong. Neighbors used equipment. We didn't care about the smell. Two covered heads, soft leather angled skates. Roughly chopping on frozen Canadian landscape. Frozen ponds, frozen toes, frozen fingers, frozen ears. Gently thawed by a mother's hot chocolate. Waiting patiently after the long walk through the bush home. Water off. Blade, blade up, up water, water on, blade, blade down. down. Will we ever get to play in the big barn where the big boys play? Minor hockey registration. $8 per child, $4 for each additional child. Red lines, blue lines, boards, offsides, face-offs. When will we learn all the rules? New friendships, new challenges, new coaches. Brian, Brad, Willie, Tony, Dennis. Community men teaching us the game and the values that go with them. Drop the puck. Excited kids all wanting it. Bunching up in the corner without teamwork, like seagulls on a french fry. Yeah! <laughs> Rewarded by dad with a pop and a bag of chips. Water off, laid up. Water on, laid down. Testosterone fired pumping tendons. Carving accurately for maximum performance. Junior hockey days with dreams of much bigger games. Pretty girls, glances causing fluttered stirrings. Hard muscles executing power plays and penalty kills. Regular shifts preparing you for the next one. Bus rides to new towns. Winning more important than participation. Games with strategies and desired outcomes. My homework can wait till tomorrow. Water off, blade up, water on, blade down. Beer league camaraderie, new communities, new friends. Pals and their wives that would hold your babies in their arms. Once a week, pickup still played with passion. The outcome is not important, it's predictable. Foamy amber liquid, overflowing frosty mugs. Clink weekly in ritual and celebration. Celebration of our Canadian culture. Our own children now playing minor hockey. Will we do as good a job as the coaches from our memories? Water on, play it up. Water on, play it down. The old man continues his celebration. Friends dying will not get in his way. They would expect no less from him as he would from them. Body scarred from a surgeon's knife, enabling him to play. Just one more game, please. Stretched into dozens with his failing body. Sudden death with its new meaning haunts him as he stretches to corral the puck. One-on-one -on -one with his arch nemesis, the goalie. Let's go upstairs, his mind tells him, not understanding where the message came from. It's an angel's voice he hears. Surprisingly hard shot. Where did that come from? His last, as the red light goes on and the rink lights go out, on a man and his game. 
Oh, but he will play again tomorrow. But St. Peter will be the referee. Water off, blade up, water on, blade down. Shiny, crisp ice, new, sharp, and clean, waiting patiently for the next generation's dream. Colleen and Morgan Weeks. Yes.